Proposition 58, the non-English languages allowed in public education. We have expert Dr. Janine Craybill. She's an assistant professor of political science and pre-law advisor at Cal State University Bakersfield, where she teaches research methods and classes on government institutions, particularly the court and presidency. Essentially, what Proposition 58 does is it amends Prop 227 that was passed with a fairly good mandate, about 70% in California in 1998. You, know, you kind of have to talk about that to, to understand Prop 58. So in a quick nutshell, what Prop 227 did, the English Language and Public School Statute, is it required schools to teach uh, limited English proficient students, so that's students who weren't pro- proficient um, in English, um, that they had to be taught essentially mainly in English. So it effectively eliminated bilingual education classes mandating English immersion. Importantly, Prop 58 amends a portion of Proposition 227. We still need, you know, students to be English proficient, but now that more research has come out saying, you know, bilingualism and multilingualism is very good for cognitive development. It creates a language bonus, an economic bonus for people who know how to speak more than one language. What we've seen, what Prop 58 will do is it increases the availability of bilingual education programs, and it requires districts with a sufficient number of English language learners to launch multilingual education programs with parental and community input. Notable supporters include the ACLU and Los Angeles Unified School District. The opposition is basically just uh, an organization called Keep English for the Children, which which I, I think that, that sounds pretty evil. So Proposition 58, Dr. Craybill, what's, uh, what's your well, vote? Well, I, I say a yes, but I do, I have a caveat. Legislation only does well if the state meets a proper commitment to that legislation, to the popular will. And so if the popular will is heard in the affirmative of this, then I think it needs to be matched with the statewide effort uh, to invest in bilingual educators. And last thing, if people want to know a little bit more about this, I wrote an art, a recent article for the current economic journal on Prop uh, 58, uh, and it's the language bonus, what California's Prop 58, the Multilingual Education Act, uh, means for you know California and Kern County. So Dr. Janine Craybill and Schmolitics say yes on Proposition 58. 